treasure that is you. He calls me, he has made me a peculiar treasure. I'm so peculiar. I'm so glad I'm God's peculiar treasure. Thank you, Jesus. Now, therefore, if you obey my voice, indeed, and keep my call. Above all people, above all people, for all the air is mine. I'm so glad, I'm so glad, I'm God's peculiar treasure. I'm so glad, thank you, Jesus. So, number six, another thing that could have stopped Jesus is the grave and the big stone. What does that stone represent in your life? What have you allowed to hold you captive? Have you been caged by your low self-esteem? Grave is a low level and you don't belong to the place. As for Jesus, the grave and the stone of barrier, antagonism, limitation, whatever you want to call it, couldn't stop him. For that could not hold him captive, even in the grave. Jesus is in love. Hallelujah. My spirit magnify the Lord. My soul raises name for death could not hold. Even in the grave, He is Lord. For death could not hold and captive. Even in the grave, He is Lord. Even. that Lord means to be in charge, to be in control. Are you in control or you have lost control? Or let me rather say, is God still in control of your life and circumstances? The enemy had no power when it came to Jesus' life, death, or resurrection. Mm -hmm. The power and the plan were God's alone. They could not stop the resurrection, nor could they stop the news of it. The stone was rolled away by divine intervention. The tomb was found empty. Death could not hold him captive. It's risen indeed. <laughs> they tried to stop Easter, which is Jesus' resurrection and ascension, but they failed. A song says, He's alive again. The stone has been rolled away. He's alive again. He's no longer where he lay. He's alive again. I can hear the angels say, Let the whole world rejoice. He's alive. He's alive again. He's alive again All the stones we rolled away He's alive again He's no longer where he laid He's alive again I can hear the angel sings Let the whole world rejoice He's alive He's alive again All the songs we rolled away He's alive again He's no longer where He lay Oh, oh. 
is a life Amen is a life Jesus is a life Forever is a life Amen is a life Amen is a life Jesus is a life Forever is a life Savior is alive, alive forevermore. Those things up there is God alive in me. I have eaten the life since Jesus is alive. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. My Savior is alive forevermore. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. My Savior is alive Sing hallelujah Sing hallelujah My Savior is alive forevermore Sing hallelujah Sing hallelujah My Savior is alive Yeah, you better rise from where they have succeeded in laying you Rise up and fulfill your destiny now in Jesus' name. It is your rising that will bring joy to your Creator and humanity. Shiny accompany your arising. Arise, shine, says the Word of God. Isaiah 6 1. As for me, I will arise and shine, for my light has come, and the glory of the Lord is resting upon me in Jesus' name. I remember the lyrics of the song we used to sing at CEM then. Arise, shine, for your Lord, the light don't come, you, for your light has come. No, make you no sit down, they look. Arise, shine, for your light don't come. Make you no sit down, they look. Make you no sit down, they complain, no. Arise, shine, for your light don't come. Your light has come. Don't just sit down and stay. Don't just sit down and complain. Arise. I will arise and shine, for my light is come. My light has come. I will arise and shine, oh, oh, yes. for my light is come. I will not see that way again. It's time for my glory to shine. I will arise and shine, for my light is come. Brother, I rise and shine, for your light is come. I rise my sister, I rise and shine, oh, for your light. Been crucified or experiencing crucifixion situation, just go through it honorably and rise up to show forth in glory. Arise, shine for that light is come. Number seven, we shouldn't forget this character to Judas. <laughs> this man called Judas with his action helped Jesus in disguise, even though many of us see his kind as our enemy. Mm -hmm. In Matthew chapter 26, 20 to 25, the Bible says, When evening came, he was reclining at the table with the twelve. While they were eating, he said, I assure you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed, each one began to say to him, Surely not I, Lord. Mm -hmm. He replied, The one who dipped his hand with me in the bowl, he will betray me. The son of man will go just as it is written about him. But what to that man by whom the son of man is betrayed? It would have been better for that man if he had not been born. Then Judas, the betrayer, replied, Surely not I, Rabbi. You have said it, he told him. It has been written, really, but Judas' name was not written there. He actually showed the part to play in that script. 
he could fit into that role perfectly because of its weakness. Judas found himself fulfilling a negative role in the drama of Jesus' destiny because he had indulged himself in bad habit of stealing. John 12 says, I just thought of it. Had Jesus confronted him on this issue at a time, probably he wouldn't have taken the path of destruction. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 11, that because the sentence against a criminal act is not carried out quickly, the heart of people is filled with the desire to commit crime. We may need to help all the Judases around us. Let's approach them with love and humility so that many of them will not end in destruction. I am not saying you should go and be fighting them publicly like some of us like to do. How many of your friends do you think are taking up the negative roles in your drama of life too? You can easily predict the role every one of your friends will play in the drama of your destiny if you know their weaknesses. Some friends could set their friends because of their selfish gain. Do you know what? Such people always end in misfortune. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine your close acquaintance being instrumental to what you are passing through now? Really, it could be painful. Just learn to cooperate with God. David, with the same experience, said in Psalm 41, verse 9, Yea, my own familiar friend, in whom I trusted, which did eat of my bread, has lifted up his heel against me. Can you imagine someone that eats together with you in the same plate? Please note, God can use for good what others desire for harm. Mm -hmm. Luke 22, 36, then Satan entered Judas, called Iscariot, one of the twelve. And Judas went to the chief priest and the officer of the temple guard and discussed with them how he might betray Jesus. We all know who entered Iscariot. Can you imagine? No wonder the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Ephesians 6, 12. Our arch enemy is the culprit behind the sin, the devil himself. Jesus' betrayer is seen as setting in motion the event that led to his crucifixion and restoration, which brought salvation to mankind. Even his betrayer had a role to play in the drama of redemption. Devil, with all his tactics, couldn't stop God's ultimate plan. He surely wanted to cause as much pain and havoc as he could while the Messiah suffered on earth. Satan failed. And not only did he lose the battle, he lost the war. Hallelujah. <laughs> God's plan prevailed on him that has prophesied. If neither the devil nor his agents could stop Jesus, no devil, no human agent can stop you and I from fulfilling divine purpose in Jesus' name. God in his hidden wisdom humble the devil and his cohort that at the end of it all they said in 1 Corinthians 2 8 for if they had known it they would not have crucified the Lord of glory this and many other things that could have stopped Jesus from fulfilling divine purpose in John 6 15 people wish he could become their king or political leader their wish could be because he talked you no know, he talked and taught with authority. Matthew 7 29, Mark 1 2. If you are not mature with the way people celebrate your gift, you can be distracted and lose focus of divine purpose. Please, <laughs> you must be careful. God will help us all in Jesus' name. Jesus didn't allow the wish of these people to make him lose his focus. He came into the world not for the purpose of becoming an earthly king, but to become the complete and the final sacrifice for our sins. His kingship was to be of different order as ruler of our lives. One of the things Jesus was able to scale through again is the people's negative comment. Hebrews 12 30 says, Think of him who endures such opposition against himself by sinner, so that you may not grow weary in your souls and give up. Jesus didn't allow people's comments either negative or positive to hinder him from fulfilling purpose. Some of us, we do well mm -hmm, when it is positive comment. But as soon as it is negative one, we don't like it at all. 
we can be down and find it difficult to move forward. If all you want is people hailing you all the time, hmm, <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Even Jesus at some point in time had to face a lot of criticism. He was accused wrongly. They said he was doing miracles using a demonic power. No, Matthew 12, Luke 11. He was accused of eating with sinner, the purpose of which he came. Matthew 9, 10 to 13. Jesus gave them a purpose-driven answer in verse 12 and 13. But when he had this, he said, those who are well don't need a doctor, but the sick do. Go and learn what this means. I desire mercy and no sacrifice. I didn't come to call the righteous, but sinners. Meaning, if you don't understand my calling, you don't have the right to condemn my mode of operation. Hear that again. If you don't understand my calling, you don't have the right to condemn my mode of operation. Some of us are guilty of that. We are so guilty. You just be condemning any form of ministration, any form of mode of operation you see. Let's repent. What about the garden of Gethsemane? Have you ever been there before? Even in the time of sorrow and a great body, Jesus could still pray a prayer of consecration. Let that will be done. Matthew 26, 39 to 44. Jesus going a little further, he fell face down and prayed, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet, not as I will, but as you will. Wow. Jesus was fully equipped for opposition to the extent of him tolerating a thief, holy insult on him, and even prayed for those who were responsible for his crucifixion. I will personally advise you to take more time to study this perfect character, Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Jesus could not be stopped from fulfilling his divine purpose. He came to save sinners, Matthew 1 21, and also came to destroy the works of the devil, 1 John 38. What is your purpose? Are you ready to fulfill it? If Jesus couldn't be stopped, if you believe and trust him, no one will be able to stop you too. Let's boldly sing the song. I put my hands in your hands, O oh Lord. I put my hands in your hands, O oh Lord. I put my hands in your hands, O oh my Lord. I cannot fail, for Jesus never fail. To accept Jesus into your life, that is, if you haven't, it is as simple as ABC, as I always say. A. Acknowledge you are a sinner, hence, one that needs a savior. B. Believe that Jesus came to the world, being the Son of God, who came to die for your sin and then rose again for your justification. And C. Confess your sin and also confess Jesus as your Lord and personal savior with your mouth and be committed to serve him forever. So if you do this with all sincerity, find a Bible-believing church around your place and fellowship with other brethren to ensure your spiritual growth. Ye de de, ojuti te shu, jesu jin de. Ye de de, ojuti te shu, jesu ti jin de. Ye de de, ojuti te shu, jesu ti jin de. Ye de de, ojuti te shu, olubala ti jin de. Ye de de, ojuti te shu, jesu ti jin de. Moni ye de de, ojuti te shu, jesu ti jin de. Jesu ti jin de, ojuti te shu, jesu ti jin de. Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus,
So we meet next time on Petty Square. Go and fulfill divine purpose in Jesus' name. Treasure.